It's Music Makers Friday, and joining us now is Africa 54 Music Makers host, Heather Maxwell. Heather, welcome. Hey. And I understand you have some very exciting news about African music and history and where to even find that kind of music. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Hi, Esther. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. This weekend marks a very important part um, of African music history for two reasons, and they're both connected. First, the University of Michigan, in partnership with The Voice of America, has launched a website that gives free and open access to 30 years of African historic music, Music Time in Africa radio shows. So as you know, Esther, Music Time in Africa is The Voice of America's longest uh, running English language radio show. And it was founded by the late Leo Sarkeesian. Well, Leo and his wife, Mary, lived and traveled throughout Africa from 1965 to the late 1990s, collecting and recording music for The Voice of America, and specifically for the Music Time in Africa radio program that he created, directed, and hosted along with his hand-picked co-hosts. So Leo used state-of-the-art technology too back then, recording on reel-to-reel, quarter-inch magnetic tape, he recorded all genres and styles of music from music from remote villages where he'd heard that maybe there was an exceptional guitarist or chora player or a singer, or music, a music tradition that, say, accompanied a funeral of a paramount chief or an initiation ceremony of some kind. He also recorded famous popular artists of the day in places like national radio studios and big hotels. Uh, and he also received gifts of music on reel-to-reel -reel tape from African radio hosts who wanted him to play their country's top artists on his radio show so it could be heard in other parts of Africa and around the world. So all of that is what constituted the content, the music that people heard on Music Time in Africa. Leo had become a living legend after working in Africa and broadcasting for over 40 years. They called him the Music Man. Well, sadly, he passed away last year at the age of 97. And tomorrow, June 8th, 2019, marks one year since his death. And this is the second reason why this weekend is a big deal for African music history. So, Esther, you worked with Leo. You remember him, don't you? I remember him very well. I mean, I used to meet him on the corridor. Sometimes he would be working very late. And I asked him just, you know, I was curious. I asked him, Leo, how old are you? I'm sorry to ask. He said, I'm 82. I said, 82? And you're still here running like you're just 40 or 30 something? <laughs> he said, yes. I said, what keeps you going? He said, he and his wife, Mary, believed in music. He said, music is oxygen to him, you know. <laughs> and he said, just love music, listen to music, and that's all you need. And you'll stay young, vibrant, and you'll keep running like a young lady. Oh, I love <laughs> that. <laughs> music was his oxygen. Oxygen, oh my goodness. that's what he said. Well, let's watch this short clip to remember Leo Sarkeesian and hear a snippet from a 1984 broadcast, and then we'll take a look at the website. Well, the most memorable, of course, is the way uh, I came into the Voice of America, and that is meeting Edward Amaro, the famous pioneer of American television and broadcasting. And the most memorable moment was when he came uh, to my uh, home in Guinea and uh, met, uh, met me and my wife and asked me at that time if I would like to come to work for the Voice of America. And now here's Leo. Here's my colleague, your VOA music man, Leo Sarkeesian. Thank you, Rita. This particular recording is titled Ojo Doshu by fellow Ransom Cootie. I made this recording in Lagos, Nigeria, in 1965 when Fella had just organized his band called the Kula Lobitos and he had begun experimenting with the big band sound, looking for a new, unique, and original music style of his own. Ocho 
Ojo robo maro, o de ro mo kase, ojo to shu, robo maro, ojo. Ojo to shu, to shu biri biri yo, ojo to shu, to shu biri biri yo. What a legend. Now, Heather, you know, just like our viewers, I'm waiting to know about the website. Yes. Okay, let's look at the website. Now, if you want to quickly listen to the shows, you just click over here on the Listen tab. And here are all of the shows. There are 670 radio broadcasts from 1966 to 1996. And they're searchable. So as you see over here to the left, you can filter your search by host, by performer, location, and completeness. Most shows have both the broadcast and the script, but others have only music or only script. So we are just so excited, Esther and everyone, because now all of you will have access to your own music history. I can't wait to go do my own search and find out what my parents like to listen those many years ago. <laughs> Heather, it looks like we've got to say goodbye yeah. right now. Thank you so much for joining us today. That's our show from all of us here. Good night. <laughs>